yo what is going on guys it's your boy so here bring us a cool little photoshop tutorial here today bring us a cool little reflective advertisement design uh tutorial here today i'm pretty trying to bring you guys a cool little way of just like kind of like starting off your advertisement design with a nice really successful start uh making it look as clean as as cool as possible and of course it's like very base model right now uh, i have this example here today uh just to show you guys what i mean by like in a very nice simple base to start off with and of course advertisement design is all about the thinking process all about how you're gonna like really like execute like you know the idea you never want to go away from the idea or whatever uh, for the advertisement design so this is a very base kind of thing right now uh, I don't know why I always use like razor as my stuff but it's like my go-to for like anytime I'm gonna do like an advertisement design I'm gonna do it for razor I don't know why but that's just a thing whatever um so yeah like always don't forget about that you know I you know uh, Advertisements are very creative. Uh, you know, for here I can have like a cool little snake representing. I do actually have a snake in the background, but it's so dim that I really shouldn't even have it there if I'm not gonna make it visible. Uh, that's something I should be working on myself. Uh, but you know, I'll probably make this a little more, uh, you know, uh, how would you call it, more visible, so that way you can see the snake in the background. That way you kind of have that, you know, that little motive to like, you know, getting the the idea that I'm going for or whatever. But whatever. Um, I really want to show you guys how to do this because it's a very nice little clean concept here, like the cool reflective kind of look to it. And uh, overall, just like setting you guys up from really nice, successful uh, advertisement design. So before that, I really want to say thank you guys so, like, generally so, so much for the past support this week. I've had a very, very successful week this week, uh, actually as well as this week as uh, this week as well, and last week. I really want to say thank you guys so much. The subscribers, views, all that cool stuff went up. Uh, the like count went up. I really, truly appreciate it. I know I've, I've told you guys I want to do th more 3D, and I gave you guys some more 3D last week, so I really am just very overall hype about how things are going for me. It's very successful. I really want to say thank you guys so much for that. Anyway, let's get going on today's video. Like I said, we're going to do something like this. We're going to start off with at least showing you guys how to make a very nice, cool gradient such to actually start off this cool little reflective kind of look here we, uh, that we have in the back here. Um, So... Cool. Let's go. All right. So I already have this picture here. I'm gonna be using the same exact picture, of course. Um, you can see the lighting effects here as well. I, I'm gonna be teaching you. It looks pretty cool. All right. Cool. So we're gonna make a new layer, and we're gonna start this off by using this blue here. Uh, I like the color of this blue. I don't know why. The hex code is three six B three C six. That way you can use the same exact blue I'm using. All you gotta do is put that number in your foreground or background color, and you can quick fill it with either Control Alt or uh, with Control Backspace or Alt Backspace to quick fill. Uh, items in or on uh, you know colors and like layers and such like this um so pretty much what we're gonna do is i'm gonna double click on this layer here we have this nice blue here or whatever color you're using we're gonna go to gradient overlay and for me i'm gonna be using a gradient of the exact same color so i'm gonna be using the exact same hex code here and i'm gonna go ahead and just press ok and whenever you're using your color whenever you're gonna use a gradient and make a gradient please use the exact same color uh for you know whatever like just use like, let's say if you want a nice gradient background, just start off with a color, but also when you use that color, use that color as well uh, as, like, the, the base for the color for the layer, as well as the base for the uh, the gradient uh, editor and such. So, we're going to go to this white. I'm going to select this blue one more time. I'm just going to make this a little bit more, like, you know, I'll say, like, something like that. A little more darker, just, like, a nice little, uh, on like, more just, just on dark color. Just move it down a little bit. Press OK and uh, press OK again. I am going to change my style from linear to radial. I think it looks best, uh, in my opinion. Um, scale, I'm going to change about 120. And then pretty much I'm good to go. So you can see here, it's a very, very nice gradient. I really do like how it looks. Rather than just using a brush and then putting on an overlay and kind of fixing things, uh, I, I, I don't know why I don't use gradients. I was just never strong with gradients, but I'm getting better. I want to start, you know, learning and such. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to be learning with you guys as well. So you can see here, this is an overall better color. Just a better color scheme. Uh, just a better, how do I say, a better blend than what I, usually, uh, what I would usually do. So, pretty much, we got that going now. We got a nice little grading going on the background here. We're going to make another new layer, and I already have my ruler set up, Control h uh, Press Control r for yourself. Let's just, like, I'm going to get rid of these really quickly. If you press Control r these rulers up top, just like so, they come up. Or you can just press View and Show Rulers and such. And pretty much... Uh, any uh, dimension or whatever, I'm just going to, very simple dimension, I'm not going to say it because it's just a very, I just, in pixels, I'll say it, I really don't care, it's like 500 by 720p pixels, I know that's not the dimension of pic, uh, of a of a poster of anything, of any sort, and my, res my resolution is at 200, but I'm just like in a, just random like dimension so that like, it can like portray a uh, poster design, not be a poster design, so anyway, no matter what in your dimensions, uh, you can always find the middle of your canvas and such just by dragging your uh, your rulers to somewhere where you would kind of like think is the middle so I'm gonna say uh, around here is the middle I'm gonna go nice and slow and it should snap for you so you can always find out where the middle is of your uh, your your design and your canvas and such so please make sure you do that I always do that so because the reason why I did this for is I'm gonna take my and my keyboard 
Uh, so if I use my rectangle marquee tool, which is M as a shortcut on your keyboard, we're going to just click and drag here. And this is what we're doing right now. is just going to make this cool little, uh, this kind of like really cool little reflection kind of thing. Uh, like a reflection table or some kind of sort, I would I would call it. Um, pretty much, I have this color here now. I'm also going to select a color in here. I'm going to make this a little bit more darker. Um, not more darker, more vibrant, I would say. Press OK. I'm going to press, uh, I think it's Alt Backspace or Control A. It's Alt Backspace for the, uh, the foreground color. And Control D to deselect. And then pretty much now we have this very cool, like, you know, two-tone color here. One's more vibrant. One has a nice gradient in the back. And now I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and make another new layer. I'm going to click mask this new layer. That way when I only, when I click mask this, right-click, click mask. When I click mask it, it would only put whatever's in this layer only in this layer. And pretty much I'm going to take my brush now. I'm going to change my foreground color now from blue to this white. And I'm going to go ahead and just load my brush or just something like, something like that. And we're going to just click a couple times, just like in the middle there. And I'm going to put this on overlay. Now, the reason why I did this is because this is where our product's going to be placed, right? It looks really nice. A very nice little simple like little trick here. Uh, I'm going to put this little razor uh, mouse here now. Make sure it's somewhere in the middle. I think that's pretty close to the middle. Uh, oop. And uh, I'll keep it there for now. I think it looks okay right there. All right. So pretty much to get this little cool reflection kind of thing here, all you have to do is you probably guessed it. If you just press Alt, uh, by the way, if this is the quick thing for all. I, there's like two quick things uh, to make a, a new layer. You can either drag and put it in a little page, or you can press Control J on your, uh, your keyboard, or you can hold Alt. And while the layer is selected, you can move it, and there you go. You can also just do something like that. So that's three ways of duplicating layers. Anyway, you just want to duplicate your product layer, right? You want to go ahead and press Control T to tr uh, free transform. And we're going to right click on this and we're going to flip it vertically. That way we know this is the way it needs to be. If it's going to be reflected, this is what it needs to be this way. And we're going to go ahead and put it, I'll say just right there is perfectly fine. And we're just going to take this now on this little copy layer. We're going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And we're going to change our radius to about 2.1, I would say. Press OK. And then now I'm going to take my eraser tool. I'm just going to erase all the way until maybe like halfway of this I think right there is pretty good I'm also gonna lower my opacity as well uh, just like so to maybe about 55 right and then one more layer above that little uh, reflection thing we're gonna go ahead and zoom in a little bit I just hold L I uh, just held alt and I just used a scroll wheel and I'm gonna go to my uh, my rectangle marquee tool tab I'm gonna go to the elliptical this time and this way I'm gonna make a nice simple oval uh, but be about like, you know, just a little more than halfway of the entire, like, you know, uh, the entire object here. I'm going to press uh, my foreground color, change it to black. I'm going to alt backspace to quick fill my foreground color. And now I'm going to use Gaussian Blur one more time. So blur, Gaussian Blur. And I'm going to change it to about 5 pixels, maybe a little bit more, 5.5. .5. That looks pretty good. So press OK. That way you also have a shadow now. And we don't want to lower the opacity too much. We want to make sure that's very visible as a shadow. And there it does look like it. And already you can see that we're doing something very simple. It's something very simple. It just looks really good. It's a very nice way to start off your design. And just because this is bothering very, very much, I did it in my other thing. I did fix this. I'm just going to make a new layer. I'm going to edit this. Change the rectangle marquee tool. Put it all the way up. And we'll make sure the width is the exact same. Just like so. And I believe this color is black, right? Or some sort of it, bluish black. There we go. Edit that a little bit. And then just because I want to, I'm gonna go ahead and put a bevel and embos on it. Emboss 90, one, and there we go. All right, cool. Or we should have on this side. I don't know, I just wanted to fix that little wire that was annoying me. All right, cool. So the wire is fixed. Anyway, you can see this here. We have this really cool re a reflection on this table in some sort. And then for some reason, I feel like when I did this reflection on the bottom, I said this top part looks a little bit kind of like bland. I feel like there was no gradient there anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm going to click where the gradient is, which is this layer right here. That's what I'm talking about. I'm going to go to the adjustments tab. I'm going to go to brightness and contrast. And I'm just going to change the brightness and contrast just a bit. That way, we can kind of see if we can try to get that gradient look back. And I think I kind of nailed it there. You can see it more darker here, more lighter in the middle now uh, with the brightness and contrast. What I can also do, to be honest, I can just use my hue and saturation and I can kind of like change the tint maybe of the color in the back. Uh, not like, like a dramatic change. Uh, that doesn't look bad at all either. 
you know, something like that. Uh, by the way, if you guys ever want to change, like, a solid, you know, since everything below this layer right here is all just the background, like, the reflection background, if you ever want to use a gradient map, just like so, like this gradient map here, and if you ever want to use, like, another color, let's just say we'll use, like, a reddish tone, that's definitely pink, we'll use red and, like, like an orange kind of red, I don't know, let's see, we're gonna take this hex code here, control C, we're gonna take this one, and we're just gonna go ahead and use something like that, I don't know, that looks pretty nice as well, yeah, that doesn't look too bad at all, to be honest, maybe this red is a little bit too, too much, maybe, like, move it up a bit, Right, I don't know, it looks pretty nice, right? Pretty nice and clean or whatever. But whatever, if you want to use a gradient, I would say use gradients. I really do like how it looks. How I like how it changes the color as well. Uh, of course, it's a gradient, but I'm just saying, trying to use gradients to try to change the color of it, not human saturation, just because I want to get you guys more used to using gradients and such, and don't be scared of them or whatever. Um, I do not like this as much. I really want to change this. Oh, I like that a bit better. Uh, it looks a, bit a, bit, a little bit better. Um, another, another thing as well is if you ever want to change... Um, we're just going to make a new thing really quickly. I'm going to make a quick little white background on this new layer. Let's see if you didn't want a color background like this white here that I have uh, or this blue that I had. If you want to use white, which is another very nice, like, solid, you know, tone of whatever you want to call it, a shade, a color of, like, a nice white. And it makes it look pretty cool with a gradient overlay. If you put it, of course, on uh, radial 120, about the scale there. And if you just use a offset white and a white, so I'm going to say, like, this is my white color right here, right? Not solid white. I just made a nice little... uh. A little bit more of a you know offset kind of white whatever it's just, it's white of course right we're gonna click on this and we're just gonna make it more of a grayish tone or we can make it completely white right uh, we want the, I think we want the middle to be brightness like so we're gonna want the middle to be super uh, nice and white and we're gonna take the sides right the outsides and make it a little bit more grayish tone right we press OK you can see that that white looks pretty nice and that also sets us up for a very nice successful uh, you know, sh you know, stuff with the, uh, you can do reflective, of course, this is white, of course, or an offset white, it'll look pretty nice as well, but, you know, whatever, looks pretty cool that way, um, if any moment in time you want to go ahead and just change, uh, some, like, you know, lighting effects and such, the lighting effects that I do, uh, usually either standard, it's like a nice little solid, you know, color on the, uh, solid white brush on the top with a z uh, zero hardness brush, right, just like so with a white brush, I just click once on the top on a new layer, and I just load the opacity down a bit, uh, but I'm gonna do though. I'm gonna just I'll, I'll keep this little simple like you know focus light on the top. I'll put it on 10% though, so that's not crazy dramatic. You can't really see it that much at all either. But what I'm gonna do if I make a new layer, uh, I made two for an, uh, on an accident. If I make a new layer, if I take one of these blues on this like so, like somewhere around here, that way we know you know these blues are all nice. If you I'm holding Alt by the way, I'm on my brush tool and I'm holding Alt to select a color. You can see I'm just gonna I'm just holding down left click and you can just select any color you want that you find here by holding Alt. I'll select something, I'll select this, I'll actually, like, mm, I don't know what I want to select, to be honest. <laughs> I'll select this blue, sure. Right, on this new layer, with a simple brush, my brush size right now is at 675, uh, uh, it depends, of course, I don't know, just a nice big brush, right? Press, click it once, and either use, I would say, color, no, 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 I'll say screen, or, do, 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 do. maybe color, burn, color dodge, maybe color dodge or screen. I don't know, I think screen looks best right now, but I'm just gonna change some of this and I'm gonna put some little bit of lighting effects on, right? Uh, just like so. And I'm not using just white, I'm using the color surrounded by the uh, the uh, the product here. So let's, oh, we'll, we'll try color dodge. No, I don't want it. Screen. You can try other layers, layer modes, of course. I'm just gonna use screen for now. I do like how this is looking right now. I'm gonna take a color from up here. I'm gonna throw it down here. And we'll go ahead, and I think that Lydia Dodge ad looks pretty nice. It's a new layer style for me to use, right? All right, and then boom. All right, cool. So to actually even this all up just a little bit, I'm going to go ahead and use brightness and contrast. Throw it on like that so it makes it a little bit more darker. And then there we go. Like th this, this lighting effects tab we just did, I'm just going to group these all together really quickly. These are all the lighting effects that we just did, and we can see the difference, right? It looks just a lot more just, you know, you know, just in place. It looks it looks correct, right? So pretty much that's all I really wanted to show you guys how to do today. Of course, I did a lot more on my uh, design here, but it was just something I just threw apart just really quickly just to show you guys a nice base to do and start off with your advertisement designing. I know I just love 
showing you guys things I really enjoy, like, you know, just, like, you guys enjoying it, of course, but, you know, whatever, it's more like a nice little simple tutorial, but it's not as simple if you think about it, if you're just looking for some cool techniques to use to make some advertisement designing or to start something off, I think starting it off is the hardest part, so that's why I want to show you guys on this channel, to so start things off, and of course, you make it your own later on, and if, just because if I really want to make something, uh, really quickly, I can use my pattern pack if I wanted to, right, if you guys don't have this yet, I'll put it in the description down below for you guys to use, it also has a tutorial on how to use it as well, I don't know why this, there's a problem here. Oh, I just lowered the fill, okay. All right, cool, right? Pattern, I can throw a pattern on it. I can throw like a cool little squares or whatever, just because I can, right? Press okay, we'll rasterize it. And we can just put like it on dissolve, why not? All right, and then you can just set yourself off for a nice, awesome, uh, you know, product design, advertisement design. So yeah, please, guys, think about your design, of course, when you're doing an advertisement design. You don't want to just make it be, like, random or whatever. Make it look as cool as possible. And I really, really enjoy you guys in, uh, viewing this video today. So please don't forget to leave a like, guys. 200 likes on this video equals a secret down there below. I'll probably put a PSD on how this, how I have this, like, kind of, like, uh, room set up or this document page set up with this cool little reflection stuff. So I really do enjoy you guys. I really do enjoy you guys. Of course, I freaking love you guys. Uh, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys, you know, check out my other two videos. Don't forget, I will be posting on Fridays and Mondays. So please guys if you guys miss a video go watch it I, I know you guys actually didn't miss those last two but whatever if you guys ever miss a video there will be two uh, week uh, two videos a week so at least show um that you're looking at the other one as well I'm not I'm not trying to like how am I trying to say this make sure you're watching both of them if you guys don't know already I don't want you to miss him so pretty much yeah we're gonna be done thank you guys so much to switch you out see you guys on Monday peace